Back in October, Congress was told in the Electromagnetic Pulse Commission report that 90% of Americans could die if North Korea launched a nuclear EMP bomb. That report didn't sit well with President Donald Trump. Now, he's taking action to protect Americans. According to the Washington Examiner, on Wednesday, President Trump became the first American president to call for protecting the U.S. electric and communications grid against an electromagnetic attack like one practiced in North Korea. When the president released his national security strategy this week, he outlined the need to quickly make fixes to grid to ensure that Americans would be safe in such an attack. In his paper, Trump said, Critical infrastructure keeps our food fresh, our houses warm, our trade flowing and our citizens productive and safe. The vulnerability of U.S. critical infrastructure to cyber, physical, and electromagnetic attacks means that adversaries could disrupt military command and control, banking and financial operations, the electrical grid, and means of communication. To fix the problem, President Trump says that he will use the latest commercial capabilities, shared services, and best practices to modernize our federal information technology. Trending, former Today Show staffer comes clean on disturbing Lauer encounter, he continued, we will improve our ability to provide uninterrupted and secure communications and services under all conditions. It is yet another campaign promise fulfilled. As then candidate Trump said on the campaign trail, protection against an electromagnetic pulse. A single nuclear weapon detonated at high altitude over this country would collapse our electrical grid and other critical infrastructures and endanger the lives of millions. With North Korea in possession of nuclear missiles and Iran close to having them, an EMP is no longer a theoretical concern, it is a real threat. Moreover, China and Russia include sabotage as part of their warfare planning. Nonetheless, Hundreds of electrical utilities in the United States have not acted to protect themselves from EMP, and they cannot be expected to do so voluntarily since homeland security is a government responsibility. The President, the Congress, the Department of Homeland Security, the Department of Defense, the states, the utilities, and the private sector should work together on an urgent basis too protect the national grid and encourage states to take the initiative to protect their own grids expeditiously. In a statement on the Family Security Mater's website, executives of the Congressional EMP Commission, William Graham and Peter Vincent Price said, President Trump understands, even if everyone in his administration does not, that strategic stability and long-standing strategic relationships with Russia or China are best maintained not by a policy of mutual vulnerability, but by a policy of peace through strength. Protecting the nation from all missile threats and EMP should be the cornerstone of a peace through strength policy. They continued by saying the fix could be done fast and relatively cheap. Additionally, Graham and Pry praised the president for his leadership in fixing this potentially disastrous problem. The inclusion of EMP in the new national security strategy comes just in time. Mr. President, thank you for your leadership. Graham and Pry are absolutely right in their assessment of the president's leadership. This fix has been needed for a long time, and President Trump is the only president to recognize the threat and actually do something about it. Liberals want to make the case that President Trump is a danger to the U.S., but this latest move reflects something completely different. Related, half poet writer tries to bait black senator. Gets burned so bad he deletes tweet, President Trump cares about the security of all Americans. That's why he made this critical move in national security. Thank God we have a president who has the wisdom to take action to ensure the safety of U.S. citizens. H. T. American News Hub, please like and share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about the president's decision. Do you think Trump made the right move here? Scroll down to comment below.